back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, I'm so excited to see you guys again. I have been doing a series of requests from you guys. One of the requests uh, I got was, what do you bring in flight? Like what, do you, what are your flight essentials that you carry along when you're flying? I am on an airplane sometimes more than I would like to be. I feel really blessed to do my job that I do. However, I am constantly on an airplane and so now it has just become second nature, the things that I bring. So I wanted to share those with you. For those of you, maybe you travel a lot, maybe you don't, but I'm gonna show you what I bring all the time. Number one, a massive tote. This one is a, a coated canvas, and so it's one of my favorites because it doesn't matter what happens, it doesn't matter if I spill something on it, or I sit it down in the bathroom, or I just, I like things that are easy. And so um, this one, is, I can just wipe it off. You can hear it, it's canvas. So they say coated canvas, that's a fancy word for like plastic. But anyway, a large tote, um, and in this tote, I have everything. So number two, I do not travel without is my neck pillow, my trusty neck pillow. I own about six of these. That's how many times I forgot them. But anyway, uh, this is useful. It's totally worth it. This one has a snap on it because, and this is actually great. And it's really fun when you're walking down the aisles because I hit people in the head with it as it's on my bag. True story, they love it. So anyway, uh, yeah. So this is my neck pillow. Here's the thing, if you're traveling with someone, you can put on your neck and then you can both lean into it, great. If you're not, which most of the time I'm not, I lean into it on the wall of the airplane. And so it just helps me to go to sleep and it's kind of like, you know, when you were little and you had a stuffy, it's kind of like that for me. So, neck pillow. Number three, I talk about this all the time, a blanket scarf. So here we go, I have many. This is one, I don't care what they look like, I shove them into my bag. You know, sometimes it's even though like the planes are hot or they're cold or who knows what's going on that day. Um, if I have a jacket on, which usually I do, I then I just put this on my legs. I don't know if you can see that, I put it on my legs. If I'm really cold, I put it actually over my jacket and then I grab my pillow and I lean. I always have headphones. Um, I got given a pair of Beats this year, so thank you. And um, I love them. These ones happen to be Bluetooth, which is really cool, but you can use any earphones. And I find these are awesome. Some of the time I've downloaded music, maybe I've downloaded a movie, or maybe I'm getting ready for a shoot, and so I have something um, related to that uh, downloaded onto them, so I just put these on. Now I'm ready to go. Another thing, if you have someone that really wants to talk to you and maybe that day you don't feel like talking, headphones are a winning thing. So I have these, these are noise canceling ones. There's many different ones out there, earbuds, whatever works for you. Just remember to bring your earphones. They're important, you can watch a movie, do whatever you want. Next tip is that I almost always wear black on an airplane, just because if you're traveling and you might spill something on yourself, you can't see it. Uh, it's not a big deal, and so I sometimes throw in an extra little t-shirt. I don't know what's gonna happen, and so I throw one in, and this is one of my, favorite, one of my favorites, plain black t-shirt. I chuck that in my bag, just in case something happens. I just wanted to show this to you guys. I usually have um, like a mini tank or some type of layering piece. This is not in my bag, it's usually on my body, and I do, I layer when I'm going on the plane because uh, it tends to be cold. So then I can wear this and a t-shirt, and then, if I'm hot, I just take off my jacket, but at least I have a couple pieces. Okay, the next thing that I have, I know this is like totally dorky, but I wear them all the time. I'm not sure why, I just feel like uh, when I'm flying, and I'm flying often and sometimes longer distances, I have compression socks. These look, look at, these are my actual compression socks. And actually, one time I went to show these to you and I couldn't find them because I had left them in an airplane, but I fly so often that the people at the airlines kept them for me. So here's my compression socks. They look really little right now and they're leopard. Um, but you will definitely see these poking out of my jeans if you see me on a flight with my running shoes on. They're just supposed to help the flow of blood in your legs, which I think is useful because you're sitting for a long period of time. So I have compression socks on. Sometimes uh, they're in my bag because I don't put them on until I start flying. Next thing I have in my bag, I almost always have a hairbrush. I always have it in there because I get off a plane and often I'm like heading to a meeting or heading to dinner. And you know, when you get off a plane, you're like a little disheveled. Hairbrush. 
I always have, and thank you Sephora for this. I sent this to me with a bunch of other goodies. Um, I always have a bag and in this bag has all of my like mini essentials. So I have things like dry shampoo. I have uh, for overnight flights, I have, I like to take vitamin C. It always has toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, I have hand sanitizer, and then I also have, uh, this is really cool, from Sage, I have Peppermint Halo. I don't travel anywhere without this. In case you get a headache, and I'm not gonna lie, because I'm usually going somewhere and I'm going to work, I'm like thinking about everything that I have to do, and so I get a little stressed out, and this smells like peppermint. And so I'll just like rub that on the back of my neck. Honestly, I'm a super big treat to sit beside on an airplane. <laughs> I get on with like all this stuff. I smell like peppermint. I've got like crazy socks on. And one other thing that I do have, actually, this is a de my favorite deodorant. This is called, it's by a company called Routine. There are two girls that came out with it from Calgary. I love them. And um, I have a bunch of these like mini samples. And so I throw it on there. I don't know, I just find like when I got off the plane, I just stick some of this under my pits and then I'm totally feeling good. I have like my teeth are brushed, I smell like peppermint, I've got some natural deodorant on, I'm ready to roll. I also have face cream. Planes are really dry, I don't know if you know this, but they actually have to take all the humidity out of the cabin. Um, and so I quickly slap on a little bit of face cream. Sometimes if it's a longer flight, four hours or more, the face cream goes on because by the time I land, not looking so good. So anyway, that is what's in my bag. Here's a tip. I don't actually wear any makeup on the plane, but sometimes I put it on before I land. So I have some of that in there. My actual wallet that I travel with is, is also a mini purse. I wear my wallet when I'm getting on the plane. So I'll have this big tote and then I'll have this across my body. And in here is my phone and my ID. Because you know when all of a sudden you get up to the gate, you're like waiting, waiting, waiting. And then you get up to the gate and they're like, can I have your ID and your ticket? And you're like, oh. It's like it's a surprise. It's not a surprise. You've been waiting in line for like 20 minutes to get on the plane. It's not a surprise. But somehow everybody does it and all of a sudden now, can you see all the stuff that's in my bag? Now I'm like reaching through and pulling out socks and pillows and blankets looking for my ID and my phone, like no. So I have it in this little mini wallet. Um, it's on my body so I try not to hold the rest of you up in line. One last thing I have in my bag is I always have a book. The time that I have sitting that I'm still is very few and far between and so it is really nice to be able to dig into something that I'm passionate about and just have a chance to zone out and do that. So I often have a book and the plane is one of the only times that I get a chance to read so I do that. Thank you guys for so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this. These are all of the things that I travel with literally every time I travel. So I'm gonna put a list down below so that you guys can check it out and pile things into your bag, whatever you need. I hope that you enjoy this video. I really enjoyed sharing it all with you. I really am that crazy person on the plane with all of these things. I have lots of fun to sit beside. I smell a lot like peppermint and we will have a good time next time I see you on the plane. So I hope to see you next week. Remember to tune in every Thursday. I am here with a new video. Hit the red button, subscribe, and I will show up in your mailbox and we will hang out.